Hey guys, what up? It's Ivan Timberwolf here. And here I am uh, in Fullerton, California on Bonita Plaza. The Bonita Plaza is the street name of this uh, little inter like this little road right here. And let's go over to this crossing. This, uh, this is on the uh, Hunts Branch. Uh, and this is a small spur leading off into this area. I'm not even sure uh, what this area was for, but I'm assuming it was, uh, they delivered products from here or this might have been gas. I don't know what they delivered here. Never researched on it and I couldn't find any information. So, um, yeah, anyways, here we have um, a 1970s, 60s or 19, sorry, 1960s, 70s or 80s cantilevers. But these are from 1975, I can tell, because both of them have a mark right here. As you can see, it's been stamped. Seven, uh, that is uh, 17. 75 and 75 is the year and this is the month so um probably no uh, 17 that's the date of the month uh and uh, 75 is the year anyways here we have a new union pacific dot tag installed as you can see it's like brand new look at this if you look on the sides look, this is no rust at all no rust like literally this is just brand new um we have a rako bracket because this installs literally Reiko. Reiko bracket um, and two and a half pairs of Reiko products, eight inch lights. They're called Reiko products, as you can see. Um, not Reiko Accessories Corp. Actually, never mind. Yeah, mm, I did, that didn't make sense right there. Uh, yeah, so Reiko lights. Um, somebody apparently opened the junction box because it's like a little, it's a little tilted. Um, tracks out a service sign with a weird triangular thing, as you can see. Really weird, never seen one like that. And, oh, oh, come here guys, I completely forgot about the step stool. This step stool uh, we used to hold a ladder. There used to be bolts down here and just a whole ladder connect to that one and they go all the way up to the cantilever over there and the, the guy would just like replace the bell or something like that. But by the way, the bells both here were originally uh, safe trend first generation mechanical bells. And uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, Reiko cantilever forgot to mention. This uh, little junction box has a bunch of uh, contacts inside. And usually um, it is the wires go up to here, power the lights, power the bell, power everything basically. And we have a Reiko, Reiko a junction box along with two pairs of Reiko lights. One of them has been stolen as you can see over here. Yeah, somebody literally cut the wire, but they didn't take the rest of the bracket. That's why, why I'm wondering. Could have just took a whole bracket with them. Otherwise, these tracks look really, really rusty. Look at this. Over here, the thing is, over here, it looked like the train's been using them because they're like all silver and stuff. If you look down over here, they're very silver because cars have been passing over this. But a train over there on these tracks right here, for example, like all these tracks, they're not silver because the train never passed on them like since like a billion years ago or something like that. Okay, so let's get let's go, come on over to the other side. We have a switch over here, which had its uh, banner stolen. We have uh, another base. Okay, this one was made a year earlier, 174. 174. So I'm assuming this is uh, January 1st, 74, because, or I don't, I'm not even sure. But, uh, some somewhere, in, yeah, 1974, as you can see. Um, this was originally a Reiko uh, base, as you can see. This is a lot larger than the actual, than, than your typical base. Somebody stole the cover and all these contacts inside. Um, fun fact, uh, all these, uh, on the entire railroad, uh, um, railroad, all railroad equipment are actually powered by only 12 volts. Even the gate mechanisms. I am surprised too, because how can a gate mechanism lift like a 400 pound arm in less than like 10 seconds like maybe they maybe they convert the power inside and the um the motor gets like 100 volts maybe there's a power converter inside and here we have the meter still active what are they using the power for union pacific is just paying for power at this point even though this crossing's out of service look at this the light's been stolen and stuff <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. This is a Reiko base, Reiko base. And then there's a step stool thing right here. 
and uh, another brand new dot tag as you can see. They covered up the graffiti with this weird paint over here. Uh, another pair of uh, Reiko products, 8 inch lights, and uh, a Reiko bracket as well. Weird triangular bracket, crossbuck bracket as well. Uh, non-existent Satran mechanical bell, which was first generation. I'm, I really wish I saw the, I, like every, for every single railroad crossing I explore, I wish I saw it active for at least one time because I wonder what the bells actually sounded like. Are they low pitched, high pitched? There are really many generations of railroad crossing bells like cast iron, uh, steel, uh, aluminum, and they all, they all vary in pitches, which is kind of confusing because a typical first gen safe trend is either cast iron, some are cast iron, but in very rare conditions, or I don't know what else, but probably aluminum. Let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, oh, hang on, look at this. We have a safe trend four inch base. I'm gonna check, check for a date. No date. Um, we have this weird control box thing over here. Somebody opened this up. Oh. There's just basically a bunch of switches inside. It's just a huge D logo over here. Please do not break CO for, uh, no fuses inside. No fuses inside. What? Yeah, somebody already broke the seal. No wonder. But this thing's still working. And this, uh, this is a little thing over here, as you can see. This is a lock. Um, this is also a brand new meter. Look at this. Just brand new. When was it made? Uh... Never mind, it doesn't have a date. But pretty much, I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to mention the lights over there. Um, uh, Reiko products, Reiko products lights, two pairs of them, and a Reiko bracket. Um, let's take a look at this switch over here, then we'll take a look at the control box. The switch is locked. As you can see, it's locked, there's like nothing. I'm not even sure what kind of lock this is, but I'm, ass I'm assuming it's the Union Pacific Railroad Department lock. I wonder if I can twist it. Nope, it's rusted, so it doesn't even move. Plus, all this debris over here is blocking it. Look at this. Oh my god, there's so much pine cones. Look at that. Somebody also graffitied on the rail, which is a sign that it's abandoned. This is abandoned, sorry. Let's walk down here. See, this, is, uh, this went over here from over here into there. And then they cut off this little bit over here, which would go uphill and over there. I'm assuming this used to be a factory and this would cut off over here to supply it. I'm looking for a date on the tracks. What the heck is this? Look at this, guys. Something, oh, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not gonna touch that. Um, that's some kind of like power supply over there. Look at that, it's connected to the rail. What the heck, guys, let me know in the comments what this is. Because it's literally soldered to the rail. Look at that, it's soldered to the rail over there. Wow, that's weird. One screw is missing and it goes underground. Maybe, um, I don't know if this is, but I'm assuming this is a sensor. <gasps> Hang on, guys, you guys, this is a sensor for the crossing to activate, I think. If the train passes over this and it senses the weight, the crossing will activate. But this is, yeah, the control box is not activated, so we cannot activate the crossing, unfortunately. I would love to see the lights flash. Uh, let's head on to the control box, let's go. Also, by the way, um, there's a logo over here. I've been trying to figure it out. It says Star Stand, Star Stand, and some kind of logo over here, if you guys can recognize it. Please let me know. Let's get over here. One of the lights is missing a hood. I've been looking all over for it, but apparently it's not here. Probably somebody took it. Or the wind blew it away, who knows. Oh, would you look at that? This is, they paint, they painted it green. I guess it's to match the bushes, but not really. Um, here we have a control box. I am not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was made by PSP, as you can see. This is a railroad, actually. Um, forgot what kind of railroad this is, but if you search up PSP on YouTube, it shows the type of railroad that made this. Um, here's a dot tag. This is an old Union Pacific dot tag. Yeah, look at that. It's really crusty on the sides. And this is where, where um, the light would go, but instead they just mounted it right up there. Somebody can literally steal that, look at that, it's so like, you can just like unscrew it and then boom, it's yours. Uh, but here we have, look at this, uh, a vintage um, 
ATSF or Southern Pacific, I'm not sure. But I'm assuming it's Southern Pacific because it's like a tag. This usually goes around the crossing base. Um, the lock, American Lock Co. Chain, a little chain over here. You can't see anything. It's all rust. Look at this. Somebody glued it. Somebody glued it. Look at this, guys. Somebody glued something over here. And look at this. Come here, come here, come here. Look at this. Something very unique. Stop. There's a stop sign right here. Oh, hang on. I wonder if I can find one of those other sensors. Um, this was made by, I'm not even sure, Signal, it's a Signal, st st signal Stat. Um, that, that's all I saw. But the cro th there should be another sensor over here, from, if I presume correctly. It's supposed to be further down track, I'm guessing. I think it's somewhere be between over there or over here. I'm assuming it's over here since it's a stop and the moment the train just goes a little bit over the stop, it just automatically activates. So, anything else? Oh, hey, somebody on trains tried to unscrew the lights. Look at this, the screws are loose. Um, other side, everything's the same, basically. And this little thing over, what is this? What the heck? What is that? Take a look at the, take a look at it. Since I can't see it, I'm too small. I'm trying to jump. It's some kind of rod. It's probably a rod, gardening rod. Um, yeah, so if you have a little blinker over here, I think that's supposed to signal if, um, the, if it's malfunctioning or not. But this is like a little blinker, as you can see. La Habra Fence Co. Inc. Look at this. So, yeah, um, if you guys have any information on this abandoned railroad or have it in action, please send it to me. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.